The message is clear at Portland Medical Centre in Croydon. To keep coronavirus out, they need to keep patients away unless it's essential. And to make sure everyone's obeying instructions, on the door is advanced paramedic Richard. On a routine training placement here, he's been put on triage duty. And we're looking for the uh, signs and symptoms that the government have put out, so that's a fever above 37.8, um, any um, sort of persistent cough or shortness of breath. And with most patients scheduled for phone or video appointments, the waiting room is reassuringly empty. I called in and they said to come in because it's immunisation, so it could not be handled over the telephone. Mm. Yeah. But it does make you feel better knowing there aren't so many people in the waiting room, for Yes, example. when I came in and I saw that there were not many people, I was much happy. Rona's daughter is an essential case, but Dr Ravi Tomar told me 80% of patients can be seen online. He showed me the video app they already use and plan to rely on even more. Most of the examination, as we're taught in medical school, the first part of every physical examination is actually observation. And if you can do that, then you get most of the information you need anyway. Patients who need a physical examination will be asked to come in. And if they have coronavirus symptoms, they'll be brought in the back door to the red zone. Our clinical staff will be wearing full protective equipment, gloves, gowns, masks. If there was an emergency and they need an ambulance, this is really useful because they can go straight into the ambulance because of the car park there, so direct access. And when they leave, the red room will be completely cleaned, top to bottom. Some surgeries, some patients will adapt better than others as the virus takes hold. But the Royal College of GPs says this is a crisis. Things have to change. Tessa Chapman, Five News.